Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. Today we're talking about buying at the courthouse auction. As always, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your title king. My vast knowledge, I wanted to produce this video because I get asked a lot of questions and I know a lot of information when it comes to title insurance. This year will be 15 years that I've been in this industry. And one of the biggest questions I get asked probably at least at every networking event once and probably three to five phone calls a week I get talking about title searches at the courthouse auction. But first I wanna go back to the basics for a second and talk about what is a title search and what is a lien search and what sets them apart from each other. And then we'll talk about how you can get that search for your next courthouse auction purchase. So first I wanna talk about a lien search. A lien search, as you know in previous videos, we said is not a search for liens. A lien search is a municipal lien search. It comes from the county and the municipality where we check for open utility bills, which could be water and sewer and trash. We are going to check for code enforcement issues. It could be code enforcement violations, code enforcement fines, issues having to do with the code compliance department of the city or town that you live in. And then we also will check for, if requested by the buyer, depending on the contract, a permit search. Now a permit search is very important to check for open, closed, and expired permits. They could be issues that, that occurred for many, many years ago that need to be reopened, rectified, and then closed. Okay, so and then what we're going to do with this search is we're going to review all of this data and we're going to tell you whether there's any code enforcement issues, there's any code problems, there's any permitting issues, or there's any utility issues. And some of these utility bills can be pretty significant. We also check for property taxes, but we do that in a title search and a lien search, and we also verify that uh, ourselves. As you know, you've seen our NBC video against the Palm Beach County tax collector, where they did not take responsibility for uh, verifying the taxes were paid on a property. So we like to order it in our title search, order it in our lien search, and also we give a call and verify. So that is a lien search. That ranges somewhere uh, $150 to $300, depending on what the municipality charges. Then we're gonna go to a title search. A title search is actually what's checking for liens. A title search is checking the history of the property recorded against the legal description. Now you know, as we've talked about in other videos, that title insurance and our searches are not tied to the property address. They are tied to the what's called the legal description of the property. And you've seen how to figure out the legal description on previous videos, the short legal versus the real legal description of the property. So we check the legal description of the property and we check the names of the owners of the property to see if there's any liens, if there's any judgments, bankruptcies, foreclosures, uh, divorces, uh, open mortgages, maybe first mortgage, second mortgage, third mortgage, mortgages that were not satisfied previously. It could be judgments for car loans that maybe a borrower defaulted on. Uh, there are many, many items that we're checking tied to the name and the legal description of the property, and that is a title search. When you're buying at the courthouse auction, that is typically the search that you are going to order. But what's the problem with calling a company like Independence Title to get that data? The problem is, is our search that we're ordering is a search of public records. It is a search that we order directly through our underwriter, and it's an insurable product, which means we can issue title insurance. But you're not buying title insurance when you purchase at the courthouse auction. You, are, you need basically what's called an owner and encumbrance report. That is a search that we used to provide many years ago. We would just pass on the invoice, but it still winds up taking a lot longer when we order it through our underwriter. So what do you do? We partner with a company called Clear Choice Tax and Lien. They provide raw data. They will do a title search of the property and provide you a property report, which used to be called an owner and encumbrance report. It's a non-insurable product. It's much more or less expensive than a uh, typical title search that we would order. They range anywhere from $10 to $50, depending on how many you purchase at once. A lot of these companies, you may be able to set up a, an account with them. If you're ordering you know, 10 or 20 of them and set up maybe a discounted rate for them, but they typically range about $50, where ours is anywhere from $75 at the cheapest all the way up to $125 in Miami-Dade County. Plus, it's the time frame that it takes. If I could provide you a title search and get it to you in 24 hours, 
that would be great. But that just would not happen. It depends on how busy the examiners are because we are ordering a, a insurable product that sometimes a closing will take place 15, 30, 45 days later. So we have time for that search. So you need to understand that you can go to a company like Clear Choice. You do not want to go to a title company. Sometimes you can find an in-house title company that has an examiner that does the actual examination in their office so they can do the exam work for you. They'll charge you an invoice for it and, and they earn that income as a source of revenue. But we would always just provide the invoice amount. So there is no revenue. It's a delayed in time. It's not in your best interest. If you want to buy property at the courthouse auction and do a lot of research on different properties, you need a company like Clear Choice Tax and Lean. I'll put their information below. Reach out to them. Don't forget to let them know you heard about this on Title Tuesdays that we referred you over to them. Uh, Jason, the owner there, is a, a great guy and the company provides some great data. So I hope you learned something new about buying at the courthouse auction. You need to be very careful when buying at the courthouse auction. You need lots of training when you're buying at the courthouse auction and you need great data research when you're buying at the courthouse auction. And once you get all of those pieces of the puzzle together, you are now successfully able to, to bid on properties at the courthouse auction and make a lot of money in real estate. So give me a thumbs up. I hope you learned something new. I'm sorry I can't help you with that title search if you are interested in buying at the courthouse. But as always, if you're doing a regular closing, maybe a refinance of your property, a cash out, private loan, please give our office a call. Give us a chance and an opportunity to earn your business for your real estate closing. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment below. Let me know a topic you want to hear on next week's episode. I'll be happy to produce a video that's geared to a topic that you would like to hear. Hopefully I know the information. If not, I'll learn the information. So this way I can provide you added value to take your business to the next level. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. My name's Kevin Thatcher, signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.